Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and today I am gonna take you guys shopping with me. I need to go to Sam's Club to get some groceries. So we're gonna be heading to Sam's to pick up some bulk items and then I will just take you guys along the day with me. I have Ethan, Austin and Adrian with me. It is Sunday so they're gonna come ride with me to Sam's. I typically try to do this during the week but we needed some stuff now so we're gonna go today but i will catch up with you guys at sam's club but before i show you guys the clip of me going grocery shopping i did want to let you know today's video is in collab with one of my new friends here on youtube her name is jessica and her channel name is jessica myros i have really been enjoying getting to know her more she is super sweet she is a mama to two boys and on her channel she does tons of healthy recipes holistic lifestyle habits tips diy projects she also does daily vlogs a little bit of everything i know y'all will really enjoy her content so make sure after you get done watching my video you head on over to her channel it'll be linked in the description below and let her know that i sent you The stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun that is cool For, um, I really want to find oh, some more storage nice. containers. Ooh, those are cute for the pantry because the pantry is a hot mess. So I am on the hunt. Hopefully I can find some from Sam's because I feel like I get a better deal. So hopefully I can find some storage stuff. It really makes me wonder. It's already getting full. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit everything. <laughs> gets undressed when it's cold. And don't they miss the leaves they left behind? Could it be to make the ground shine like cold until winter comes? Until winter comes? Until winter comes? It really makes me wonder. Hey, I found my Your birthday's coming up. So I'm gonna go show you guys what I picked up from Sam's Club. I'm really excited. I found some storage containers. I can't wait to organize the pantry. I'm gonna label them and everything. So I'm really excited to do that. And my husband needed more socks. So I picked him up these Reebok ones. They are really soft. It was $10 for eight pairs. I got some more unstoppable beads in the fresh scent because they were still on sale for $13. So I went ahead and picked some up. I'm not quite out yet, but that's a really good deal. So I didn't want to miss out on the sale. And then I'm almost out of my hair, skin and nail vitamins. I have been taking them religiously for like probably six plus months because I'm really trying to grow my hair out. So got some more of those. We ran out of aluminum foil. So I got the heavy duty aluminum foil. Yay, Tonight I decided we're going to make some chicken fajitas for dinner so I picked up the healthy tortillas for both me and my husband and then we're almost out of Advil so I picked up some a huge thing of Advil and then I got my egg whites last time I went to Sam's I didn't pick them up because we ran out of room in the buggy so got them this time 
I also picked up some more bananas. I've really been loving having a banana before I work out in the morning. That way it's something light on my stomach and then I eat breakfast when I get home. So I've been stocking up on bananas. The kids were almost out of their vitamins. This is the vitamins, I always buy them. They were on sale today too, so it was like, I think it was like four or five dollars off. So got those for a really good deal. And then we picked up some healthier snacks for the kids. We got these Go Go Squeeze yogurts. Austin really wanted these, he loves them, so we got those. I needed more onions, so I got a really huge bag. The kids suckered me into buying this one. We hardly ever buy cheese balls, but you know, since they're Halloween themed and individually packed, we went ahead and got some cheese balls. I got this um, like combo pack pistachios. They're individually wrapped. So I thought this would be a really good snack for both me and my husband since we're trying to eat healthy and he really loves the chili roasted um, pistachio flavor, so it comes with that, honey roasted and then salted. We also picked up some Go Go Squeeze fruit and veggie. These were also on sale as well, so we got some of these. Ethan loves these too, all the kids do. And then we picked up some more of Aubrey's favorite breakfast sandwiches. She eats these literally every day, so we got some of the Jimmy Dean croissant sandwiches. These I have not tried before. I'm pretty excited to try them out. I wanted like something to help with my sweet tooth but not be, you know, super bad. So these are 180 calories for one, 12 grams of fat, which it is a lot of fat. Um, it has 20 carbs, but seven of them coming from fiber. So it's only 13 net carbs and seven protein. And what I really like about it is it's using sugar alcohol mainly instead of regular sugar and there's only two grams of regular sugar so i'll let you guys know what i think about them i'm excited to try them caramel chocolate nut bars they look good. yeah they look really good and then i picked up some more bread for the kids sandwiches for school and these are super good i can't find them a lot of times so i was really excited to see them back at sam's club you if go? you if you haven't tried the cinnamon flavored ones, definitely try them out. They're really, really good. And then we got some of our typical milk. We get the almond unsweetened vanilla. And then this time, instead of getting orange juice, the kids decided to get lemonade. We haven't had this um, lemonade before. This is the Sam's Club brand, but it looks really good. We also picked up some bell peppers. That's gonna be for our fajitas tonight. This is something new as well that I haven't tried. I really hope it's good. It is rice cauliflower pad thai. It looks like it has like carrots and all kinds of good stuff in here. And the macros were really good. So it says there's 12 servings per container and one serving is 60 calories, one gram of fat, 12 carb, two coming, two of them are fiber, so it's only 10 net carbs and two protein. I just thought it'd be a good like side item for dinner whenever I just want something quick but still healthy. So I'll let y'all know what I think about that as well. And then I got my husband's favorite Jimmy Dean breakfast sausage in the huge roll. And then I got some more, of course, of my frozen chicken breast tenderloins. I love cooking those in the Instapot. Just turns out super moist and good so that's what we're gonna do for our chicken tonight for our fajitas throw some of that in there with some seasoning quick and easy and then we also got down here some more wipes because Ethan is almost out of his wipes these are always the ones that I get it is unscented and I've never had a problem with him using those like he doesn't get a rash or anything which he is kind of sensitive so I love these and it comes with a lot. There's 12 packs and 96 wipes per pack. Like these last me months. And then I also got some more of his diapers because we are really low on diapers. So got him the Sam's Club diapers. And then we, this is the main reason why I went today was for cat food because Jinxie is completely, look he knows I got cat food. <laughs> He's completely out of cat food. So I got him a huge bag. He's definitely not gonna run out of cat food for a really long time. It is a 20 pound bag. So he's probably gonna have food for like six months. <laughs> 
and then he also needed some more litter so I got him this one I prefer buying the lightweight litter but they didn't have that at Sam's so we're just gonna try this one out and then I also got a huge thing of paper towels because we only have two rolls left so I like to stay stocked up on paper towels and toilet paper so uh, oh and I also got two bags of the salt for my water softener so the grand total was I'll put it on the screen because I can't remember, but I know it was over $400, but we got a lot of stuff. Dry your eyes. I'm not even worried, but I can't hear the silence you describe. Don't be ashamed. We can't always leave this place and go where no one knows our names. Pack your bags. We never needed their permission to believe in ourselves. So come with me. We could spend the weekend doing everything they said we'd never do. In their universe, just causing trouble but nothing can hurt us in our bubble for better or worse in an uphill struggle no regrets and windows down 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 Just getting Ethan down for his nap. He was so tired, it's way past his nap time. It's already 12.15, so laid him down. I have to finish picking up everything else, just kind of putting it in the random spots since it's like the cat food and stuff. And then I have so much laundry to get done because today is Sunday, the kids have school tomorrow, so I need to make sure that I get their uniforms washed before the end of today. I am such a mess. I'm literally spilling cat food all over the place while trying to fill this up. But Jinxie was super happy to have a full thing of cat food once again. But as I was trying to figure out where to put the cat food bag at, I wanted to put it in the pantry, but I was so overwhelmed looking at everything in here. It's just so cluttered. I wasn't planning on cleaning the pantry today, but you know how it goes. You get in somewhere and you just get started and you can't stop. So. doing the laundry right now but I'm so excited about these containers I semi tidied up the bottom of the pantry but so it is better than what it was but it's definitely still messy it is a work in progress but I'm gonna probably do like a total pantry makeover on my cleaning channel so if you guys are into that make sure you're subscribed to my cleaning channel but I think I'm gonna go ahead and just clean these and put the items in them and then that way I can just use them because I'm really excited to use them. So I'm gonna go ahead, open them up, clean them and see what I can put into them to hopefully clear up a little more space in my pantry because my pantry is so overwhelming. I just feel so overwhelmed every time I open it. So I am ready to get it a little bit more organized. Every night I see your clearest day. Here are all of the containers. What I really like about these is that they are um, like airtight. So they have this, hold on, it's hard with one hand. This is like rubber right here. So when you put it on and then you push this down, it's like an airtight seal. So I really like that about these. And this was a good price. I believe it was like $30 for all of these. So really good deal. I'm gonna quickly rinse them out. That way we can use them. So I wanted to put the noodles in this one, 
but I don't think it's gonna fit because we have a lot of noodles. So we're gonna go ahead and put them in that one. the cutest thing Adrian was so excited to be helping me organize my stuff into these containers and as we were trying to figure out like what items should go and where she was telling me that on TikTok she follows this one girl whose pantry is like super beautiful and has all of the clear containers and she's like mom we should do our pantry like that and i was like yes that's definitely the goal but these containers are expensive so i'm definitely just trying to buy them slowly over time and then eventually hopefully i will have a beautiful pantry but it likely won't be in this house because this pantry is so tiny and with six of us in this house and i buy in bulk it is just not enough space so we're just working with the space that we have and trying to make it as organized as possible. It's not about perfection. It's just about more, you know, functionality and being able to find what's in your pantry because as of right now, I can't find anything. So I'm slowly getting it a little bit more organized, but today we're just filling the containers up and it honestly was so satisfying filling these up and then putting them into the pantry. Let me know if you guys are like me too. I just really love organization. I don't know, maybe I'm just weird. <laughs> So this is what it looks like. It's still super cluttered, but I will tackle this another day. It just feels good to have more like nice organized containers, not so many like bags and boxes. And I got rid of some stuff that we didn't use or that was pretty much, you know, empty to make a little bit more room in here. I can't believe it is already like, what time is it? It's almost three o'clock. Ethan is still sleeping. I know he's gonna wake up any moment. We did lay him down a little late. I wanna say it was like almost 12 o'clock. So he should be up any moment. He's taking a super long nap, but it took so much longer to like pick up everything and organize it. And I just ate some lunch because I was starving. So, but the entire time I've been listening to the book called Secret the power by Rhonda Byrne it is so good you guys should definitely check it out I was watching one of Erin Williams old videos where she mentioned like books that she really loved and were like change you know life-changing for her and this was one of them so I decided to download it I'm loving it so far I got it in an audiobook that way I could listen to it like when I'm driving or working out or you know just busy around the house so I have been listening to it literally all afternoon while organizing the pantry. It is about law of attraction and like, you know, just how to be more positive in life and stuff and like attract the things that you want. You guys should check out that book. It's really good. So I've been listening to that. I'm gonna quickly go ahead and fold the load of laundry since he's still sleeping. And then we will get started with dinner. I will share with you guys how I make my super simple chicken fajitas. Super basic, nothing fancy, but I'll just share with you guys what I make for dinner.
Little man is awake. <laughs> He's having some crazy hair, but first he first thing he wanted to do was go outside, of course. Go outside. I really need, need to clean this back porch. I'll get to that soon. It feels really nice outside though. It's like it's still a little warm. It's still in the 80s, but it is so much cooler than what it was a few weeks ago. I am loving the fall vibes, at least like in the morning times. It feels super cool out where you can like wear a sweater or, you know, be bundled up a little bit. Like right now, I still have my long sleeve on. It's a little warm for a long sleeve, but this morning it felt so amazing. I am definitely getting excited for fall. I'm super excited. I ended up looking on my um, like gym workout app to see if they had any spin classes soon. And I'm super excited they have one for Monday. So I'm gonna be going to a spin class tomorrow. I believe it starts at 10, but that'll be like pretty good timing because it'll start at 10. It lasts for 45 minutes. And then by the time we get home, it'll be a little bit after Ethan's normal nap time but it'll still be like good timing where he'll go down for his nap all that stuff so I'm excited to do the spin class tomorrow why are you trying to unzip your babe you found some grass yeah can you say green green grass you're gonna go find some more yeah okay <laughs> So I'm about to start the chicken. These are all the seasonings I need to make my fajita seasoning. I thought I had fajita seasoning, but it turns out I don't. So I just looked up this recipe. Here are the ingredients if y'all want to make your own fajita seasoning. But I'm going to go ahead, make some fajita seasoning to add to the chicken. That way I can get the chicken into the um, Instapot and make sure it's done in time. I'm just going to add about seven of these chicken tenderloins into my Instapot with one cup of water and my seasoning and we're gonna cook at high pressure or pressure cook it for about 18 minutes. The chicken is done in the Instapot. I'll shred it in just a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the peppers and onions sauteed. So super simple, you're just gonna chop them up and you're gonna saute them with some olive oil. And what I like to use in mine to give it like a really good flavor is either some um, liquid aminos or the coconut aminos. I love the way the peppers taste when you saute them with this. So that is what I'm gonna be doing. Super simple, but tastes delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me and shopping with us and seeing our Sam's Club haul. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It really does support my channel. And don't forget to head on over to Jessica's channel. I do have her link down in the description below and let her know that I sent you. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.